I had one of those. Dad, do we have a meteor hammer? I don't think so. Why don't we make one? Okay, I'll do that. Now for materials. Where's that rope? Oh, there it is. Now for something round. We don't need something round, just something with mass, like this water bottle. Hey Sam, that's a great idea! There! Done! Good job! Why won't this go faster? Change the mass and radius. What? Why? Who said that? Because they're directly related to rotational inertia. Rotational inertia? What's that? The resistance an object has to spinning. Oh. Wait, only change one variable at a time. Oh, okay. When I decrease the radius, the meter hammer is easier to start spinning, and therefore it goes faster. But I want it to hit hard. Then increase the mass. How do I do that? Just fill it up with water. Oh, okay. <laughs> when I increase the mass, the meteor hammer is harder to start spinning. Oh, so when the resistance, aka rotational inertia, increases, the speed decreases. But why does the meteor hammer stay in a circular motion when I spin it? Centripetal forces keep an object in a circular path unless acted upon. Oh, so like in the movie. For all your brain aches out there, centripetal force equals mass times volume squared divided by the radius.